What would you do with one day in Madison? We are Nancy and Jose, and today we're going to show you what we would do with one day in Madison. We're going to start our day by visiting Oldbridge Botanical Gardens. We came in and we went into the Volts Conservatory, so we're going to walk around. nice and pretty it's very warm in here <laughs> yeah it's really green it's a nice change from the winter weather that we have outside right now in, in Madison yeah. I had to ask for help and they are gonna get a fishnet to be able to get the eyeglasses. Uh, things always happen to me. So when, if you have eyeglasses, be aware that they can fall to the water pond. Don't, don't be Jose and go like this. <laughs> <laughs> you rescued them! Yay! Thank you so much. I got my eyeglasses. Yay. They're all wet now. <laughs> I know. They survived. They survived. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep rolling. <laughs> Usually in the summer it's really green, there's a lot of plants. Right now it's a little bit like sad. Yeah, it is kind of sad and there are no flowers yet. We're just barely starting spring, so it'll probably be another couple weeks before it looks nice. But the indoor one was really good. So this is the map of the entire Oldbridge Botanical Garden. So right now we are over here and we're gonna try to go to the Thai pavilion and also walk on the rose garden like a little light show everywhere so they put a lot of lights all over the garden and you get to walk around it and this was like in the winter time I don't think they did it this year because of COVID so this is the Thai pavilion um, usually in the summer they have the fountain uh, on so there's some water and like you can see the real you, you can hear the relaxing noise of, of the water fountain but right now it's, it's empty I assume that is because of the winter weather and not a lot of people come here but it's something uh, good to check if you are visiting Madison
We just arrived at our second stop. We're here at Henry Villa Sioux and we're gonna go check out some animals. I want to be there and baby dance the night away. I let my head down the fire one. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. I think we are like one third of the zoo right now, so we are excited to keep uh, looking at the animals. Oh, and one good thing to know about the zoo is that it's free anytime. Yeah, you can donate whatever you want at the end or at, at the entrance, but it's free to enter. Yes. I dare you to be wonder I don't fit into your box Beauty queens without no flaws You can do better I dare you to be wonder I don't fit into your box Beauty queens without no flaws You can do better I dare you to be wonder I don't fit into your box Beauty queens without no flaws You can do better I dare you to be wonder We try to look at the badger but it seems that it was sleeping so hopefully when you come you can see the badger look at him <laughs> it seems that the seal is a favorite animal of nancy every time that we come she's always so excited like watching the the seals they're swimming. so adorable yeah and they're also very like they like to swim in front of people she said that they like to show off so <laughs> let us know what you think <laughs> fun and now we're gonna go get some food because we're really hungry and then we're gonna go to the downtown area and spend the rest of the day there so we just had some lunch on our way here to downtown we just made it downtown parked our car and we're gonna walk around the university a little bit and then head out to State Street all the way towards the capital so here in downtown you also have the call center here you have college and professional um, ice skating games <music> top and I'm almost falling <laughs> we made it to the top to Babka Hall and from here this is a nice place to come and have some picnic I wish we had thought of that <laughs> um, but you can see all the way down State Street in the capital. we're going all the way down again towards Memorial is that where we're going next yes Memorial okay. Union there's Memorial Union to check out the lake that is kind of half frozen still so definitely not walking on the lake anymore it's probably not careful there mm. <laughs> I thought you were going to step in that hole oh. so these bikes right here are all over the city and you can like rent them to go get around the city but today we're mostly walking and if it's anything far away we're driving but if you feel like biking these are your friends Last time where, when we walked from Picnic Point to Memorial Terrace we start over in that corner over there and we walk all the way just here Just past these boats I think Yeah just past the boats like this. But now it's no longer ice Yeah no Oh You can see the magnitude, the distance that, that we walk and like and <laughs> There was actually a frozen lake so here is the proof that we were actually walking on a frozen lake.
as we are walking around State Street, uh, we're seeing lots of little shops, lots of bars, uh, places where you can get some snacks, things to eat. It's been fun to check out some of these places and like go in and see what they have in there and take a look around. to move the car we park at a place where we need to move it every two hours if we don't have if we don't want to pay and now we're continuing walking on state street we are almost one block away uh, from the capital yeah so we're right next to uh, the overture center where they have a lot of performances um, when there's no covid of course um, so yeah it's this big art performing arts Space that we have here in Madison, which is great, and they also have a museum right here. Yeah, they do. But I'm not sure if the museum is open, but sometimes it might be. It's called the Contemporary Art Museum. No, Madison Museum of Contemporary Art. Oh, before we forget, we also have the Refium that we have it behind us. Uh, it's a venue where you can have like concerts and activities, sometimes wedding. We've seen some. So as we walked as well, we've been reminded that there's lots of coffee shops, lots of outdoor cities where you can just come in, have a cup of coffee in one afternoon and relax and watch people watch if that's something that interests you. Yeah, there's also a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants and most, most of, of them, them outdoor cities. Yeah, most of them have um, outdoor cities so if that's something that you can do if you enjoy doing that. Just be aware that you're going to have people walking around you so if you don't like that kind of environment, then it's not for you. That's true. Yeah. We made it to the Capitol Square, where the Capitol is located, as you can see here in the front. During the summer, there's some concert on the square, there's some activity that people come here and sit down, enjoy, share with, 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 with their friends. Yeah, I wish we had a chance to go indoors, but they have been closed um, to the public. For now, yeah. so there's not opportunity to go see inside, but the beautiful, the, ins the inside of the building is beautiful. Yeah, and you can also go to the like almost the roof of the Capitol and see the entire Isthmus uh, area. These green areas are the green areas that like lots of people come in, sit, and just relax. And then when we have the um, uh, concert on the square, concert on the square, there's lots of people. People come early and set up their blankets. But I'm also thinking about the, um, the Saturday mornings. Oh, farmer's market. Farmer's market. That's exactly what I'm thinking about. So we have farmer's market all around the square, all around the Capitol Square. And you walk around them and then there's like food cars as well. So people come buy some food, sit on the grass and eat. Yeah, it's some nice Saturday morning activity. Yeah, if you uh, come uh, on a Saturday. Yeah. Course. Our next destination is the Monona Terrace, which is right off the capital. So we're just walking one of the one of the sides of the capital all the way to Monona Terrace. We made it to the Monona Terrace. It's really windy. It's really windy, <laughs> yeah. So something that you need to know is that the closer you are to the lake, the colder it's gonna be. So bring a jacket. Yes, that's true. Especially in, if you're not in the summertime. <laughs> so this is this has a view to the other lake. Earlier we were in the Mendora Lake, at the Mendora Lake, and now we are on the Monona Lake. And then below there, there's a uh, bike path that people can bike on or walk if they want to. Ooh, it's really windy here. Yeah. yeah. Another thing is that, as you saw that Nancy pointed out, like a bike path, there's a bike path that surrounds the entire Monona Lake. So you could rent a bike and do the, the Monona Lake path, if that's something that you like, of course. Be aware that it is 13 miles and it takes about, how long would you say? Hour and a half, two hour hours. Half, yeah. More than that. If you go slow, it's, that's as if you go like, if you're going for exercise, yeah, an hour, an hour and a half. But if you're going for pleasure and at your leisure, it will probably take like three hours. Three hours, yeah. So plan accordingly. <laughs> Maybe we should try one of those. Yeah. Biking around Monona. Yeah, leave a comment if you would like to see us uh, biking the entire Monona path. <laughs>
after that long day, we're gonna finally go get something to eat for dinner. We ordered some cheese curds and if you come to Madison, you have to try these. These are so delicious. I'm very excited for them. Really good. Mm. What did you order? Oh, a pulled pork sandwich. Only problem, it has peppers. And I'm afraid of them. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered a bacon mac and cheese. So I'm gonna steal. Yeah, Nancy's gonna steal. So here it is. And now to eat. Give it a try. Mm, try it. Ooh, big piece of, the, of bacon. Good, yeah. Huh? It's really hot too. So we ate too much and we're gonna grab some to-go boxes to get the food that we didn't uh, eat. We had some good dinner and we are ready to end the day. Yeah, we went to all the places that we think will be really fun to go to in Madison. And if you come to Madison, let us know in the comments what places you visit or what places you're most excited to visit. Yeah. See so you on the next one. See you in the next one.